And now to the other side of the border. Migrants who have recently arrived in Juarez have made their way to different sections of the border wall and are turning themselves into U.S. authorities. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Eriberto Perez joins us live from the Rio Grande to continue our complete coverage. Eddie. Stephanie, it's been a couple of hours since we got here to access 36 of the border wall, and I want to show you the line of migrants that have gathered here in front of U.S. authorities since uh, early uh, today. Migrants are still showing up as they wait to have a chance to cross to the U.S. Nevin Garcia, the coordinator of the state's Migrant Care Center in Juarez, told me U.S. Border Patrol is not letting, of course, migrants request asylum when they turn themselves in. The U.S. has been promoting the use of the CBP-1 app, which allows them to schedule an interview to request asylum into the U.S. Garcia told me as well that migrants are gathering near the wall to turn themselves in because they heard rumors the border will reopen, which is not true. On Monday, hundreds of migrants were at gate 28 of the border wall in front of the Red X in Ciudad Juarez. We made the trip to that same gate on Tuesday and we saw fewer migrants, no more than a dozen. But once we followed a group of them, we saw long lines of migrants now staged on access to here on access 36 of the border wall waiting to be processed by U.S. authorities. That's what Garcia's apartment tried to tell them every day. Garcia also told me that every day between 300 and 500 migrants arrive to the city on trains, but this number changes every day as well. And this has brought uh, some relief to local Juarez shelters as more migrants leave them to make their way to the U.S. Chihuahua officials know shelters and processing centers in El Paso are working at overcapacity, and this is impacting the border on both sides. And Stephanie Coordinator Gar Garcia also told me some migrants turn desperate when they use the CBP-1 app and don't reach their appointments with U.S. authorities after a couple of weeks. And that's why they've been gathering in different access points here of the border wall, as we showed you earlier today on ABC 7 at 4 and 5. We'll continue to update you as this situation develops in different accesses of the border wall. Uh, in, their, in later shows, but for right now, I'm reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. All right, thank you for that debrief, Eddie.